life, wisdom. Did you know that the United States is the most heavily armed civilian population in the world? In fact, there are about 90 guns for every 100 people. Gun control advocates claim that murder and suicide rates go up because of a lack of gun control, but is that true? This chart shows causes of death in America. Somewhere on this list, guns fall into place, and I want to know where you think they fall in. Throughout this video, I'll explain, and if you continue watching, you'll learn where it actually goes. Now, guns and gun control are controversial topics. It's a well-known fact that our current president is in favor of gun control, but what is your opinion? Do you think that civilians should still have the right to bear firearms, or do you believe that we need to have stricter gun control laws? Are you in favor of gun control? Please let me know why. Also, if you own firearms, let me know how many you own. The Second Amendment of the U.S. Constitution states, a well-regulated militia, being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. To put this into perspective, it should be noted that America was founded by revolutionaries. Our forefathers believed in maintaining our independence. They fought long and hard during the Revolutionary War in order for us to keep that. And so, in the U.S. Constitution, the Second Amendment reflects our right to bear arms. It's a way for us to defend ourselves if there's ever an invasion, to personally defend ourselves in case something bad ever happens, but then also, it's a way for us to fight against an oppressive government as a last resort. Sword. No free man shall ever be debarred the use of arms, Thomas Jefferson. To disarm the people, that was the best and most effective way to enslave them, George Mason. And what country can preserve its liberties if its rulers are not warned from time to time that this people preserve the spirit of resistance? Let them take arms, the tree of liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants. Thomas Jefferson. Firearms stand next in importance to the Constitution itself. They are the American people's liberty, teeth, and keystone under independence. From the hour the pilgrims landed to the present day, events, occurrences, and tendencies prove that to ensure peace, security, and happiness, the rifle and pistol are equally indispensable. The very atmosphere of firearms everywhere restrains evil interference. They deserve a place of honor with all that is good. George Washington. The strongest reason for people to retain the right to keep and bear arms is, as a last resort, to protect themselves against tyranny and government. Thomas Jefferson. So that's the rationale behind the Second Amendment. U.S. citizens by far have more guns than any other nation in the world. But does having all these guns around really make the United States an unsafe place to live? While you may find it surprising to know that there are nearly 11,000 firearm homicides every year, it's even more surprising to learn that there are only 17,000 non-firearm homicides every year. So that means that you're more likely to die each year from something other than a gun. Additionally, it's surprising to me to know that there are 25,000 accidental falls that lead to death each year, meaning that you could die simply by walking and falling, running and falling, or by being a klutz. And no one's outlawing being a klutz, are they? While those numbers are startling, it's even more startling as we go down this list. 25,500 people each year die from recreational drug use. While most of these drugs are illegal, they can still be found on the streets or if you know someone who knows someone who can get you something. Additionally, 32,000 accidental overdoses happen every year. Those accidental overdoses are from drugs that are prescribed by doctors and then misused accidentally or taken wrong, resulting in death. There are 35,000 motor vehicle incidents that lead to death every year. That is a lot of cars getting into accidents, but we're not outlawing vehicles, are we? There are 107,000 alcohol abuse instances that lead to death every year. But we're not going to outlaw alcohol, are we? 
We already went through that with Prohibition and there were quite a few unhappy people. There are 118,000 accidents that result in death that are just miscellaneous accidents that happen. There are 195,000 medical errors by doctors who are licensed to practice medicine every year that result in death. And there are 529,000 deaths per year due to tobacco use. Uh, that's nearly 50 times the number of deaths from firearm homicides every single year. This chart illustrates gun rates and homicide rates across the world. The United States has a homicide rate of 4.2 per 10,000 people. While that may seem high, it is actually not high at all. There are 111 countries all over the world with higher rates than the United States. Take, for example, Mexico with a homicide rate of 16.8. That's much higher than the United States. And Colombia has a rate of 33.4. One would deduct that it is more dangerous to live in these countries than it is the United States. This is a chart showing homicide rates around the world. The higher the homicide rate, the darker the color. Now let's take a look at suicide statistics. In the United States, there were 19.2 suicides per 10,000 people. In Switzerland, there were 15.7. In Germany, 15.6. Greece, 6.1. Mexico, 6.8. There were 21 in Russia. And in Colombia, there were 7.9. While the United States is ranked 38th in the world for suicides per population count, Japan down at the bottom has 33.5. If you don't know this already, Japan has one of the strictest gun control laws and regulations in the entire world, yet there are still a high suicide rate. In my opinion, suicide rates are cultural, and if someone wants to kill themselves, they will find a way to do so. While it is true that it is the most effective method of killing yourself by using a firearm, it would be surprising to know that most people actually self-induce a drug overdose in order to try to do so. In Japan, which has a much higher rate of suicide than the United States, it's important to note that most suicides happen because of hanging or jumping off of high places. Their access to guns is limited due to their gun control laws. My point is simple. It is that if you're going to kill yourself or someone else, you will find a way to do it regardless of having a firearm. Which brings me to my next point. You may have heard the saying, guns don't kill people, people kill people. It's a lot like saying that the spoon causes you to be fat or a pencil is the reason that your words are misspelled on paper. All three items, a gun, a spoon, and a pencil are simply tools and they are harmless until used by a person who is behind the tool. So those are my thoughts on gun control and the Second Amendment. But you tell me, should people still have the right to own guns or not? Leave a comment below and let me know. In a future video, please join Karina and I as we go out to a gun range and we go over various types of guns and gun safety tips. And in a future video, we will be interviewing local politicians about their views on gun control. So please subscribe to our channel and that way you can catch it. Thank you for watching. Please leave your comments below so that I can actually read what your thoughts and views are about gun control. Like the video if you did enjoy it and give us some feedback. I always enjoy reading what other people have to say. Until next time folks, stay safe and guns up. Some people have called gun control a conspiracy. But what is a conspiracy theory anyway? Check out our video to learn more. Is it right to believe something just because an authority figure tells you that it's right? Check out our video, Question Authority, to learn more. 
Some people have said that people are too stupid to own a firearm. But is that true? Check out our video, Are People Stupid to Learn More? In this video, we showed that suicide rates don't have much to do with gun rates. But low self-esteem may be the highest cause of suicide. Check out our video for more tips on self-esteem and confidence.